Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're here with another episode of Haikyuu, episode 23. Um, our match with Seijo continues and um, Kageyama is back in the game. He's, I think that was absolutely necessary. Not just because I wanted, you know, I wanted Sugawara to get some, get some court time. I always want that and I will always, con I will continue to want more of that. Um, but he needed to, um, you know, to take some time out to cool his head um, his focus for the majority of the first um, first set was his competition with um, with Orikawa and you know being better than Orikawa. Um, but um, he got back into the game. Um, he's actually working with Suki now, something we never thought we'd see happen. Uh, but um, he's learning how to communicate with different players. They all have different personalities, so they can't they can't all be approached the same way that he does. Especially his relationship with Hinata, which is. You know, bordering on aggressive, but that's just how they relate to each other, which is fine. But that may not work with Suki, you know. So um, it's good to see him adjusting now. It's it's showing that he's he's showing growth, um, and and I'm enjoying his character a hell of a lot more now. Not that I disliked him before, but as I've said, um, as far as setters go, he he's he's not my favorite at the moment. But um, I definitely like his character, and I, I like the growth. I like to uh, I like the direction where they're taking his character. So. Um, more of that. Um, of course, um, Seijo has now lost his second set, so we're going into the third. And um, I mean, I, I'm still on the fence as to who will come out victorious here. I, I, I feel as though it's too soon for Seijo, but um, you know, but they, they could pull it off. They could pull it off. They could pull it off. So um, I can't wait. Episode 23. Let's check it out. Is a decoy or is he going for it? They're not using the verbal communications anymore. But I'm curious, I mean, hand signals has to be something that's common among different teams. So how is it Seija doesn't doesn't use those? Got it. It wasn't exaggerating. They have great defense. Oh, the liberal were doing a set. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I've actually seen a liberal set a ball. The last point where his foot touches, so it's legal. Interesting. So that's good. This is what I wanted to see from Seijo. Right. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Okawa. He's got them pumped. They want that challenge. They know how to adapt to any scenario. Got him. <laughs> Phrasing. It's gonna be a, a, a match of perseverance at this point. Who has the most stamina to keep going for the, the entire third set? I'm surprised he even remembered it. Uh. Hinata making him nervous. I hope they can do it. Honor attack. Ah. Got it. <laughs> yes. I mean, he knew it was coming. 
Come on, get out of your head, Okawa. Don't don't do what Kagiyama has done. When you knew it was coming, just figure it out. Got him. One more point. Now how long can Hinata keep that up though? Right. This is the same point. The ball just isn't hitting the ground. They got there this time. But is this a decoy? They're focusing on Hinata but no one else. Yeah. <laughs> Got it! They got him! They're focusing all their attention on Hinata. Well, that's the decoy's job, so... Job well done. I think they're developing tunnel vision as far as that's concerned. It's a problem, yes, but it's I mean it's it's one point. I, I don't see why they can't just mark him with one player and shift focus to, to the other players. Okay, they're not, they're not trying to react to him. Yeah, I mean, close up to the net. It's harder to block, but stand back and you can see where the ball is actually going. But that's also risky though. A dump! <laughs> I mean, that's also risky because Hinata could, I mean, he's, he's spiking with his eyes closed, so maybe he can't do it right now, but theoretically, he could use that to his advantage as well, the fact that they've all stepped back. Or even Kageyama could attempt a setter dump, since there's no one close to the net. Sage is good. <laughs> Still fear Oikawa surf. Ah, damn it. Oh, locked out. <laughs> Not gonna miss this time. Ah, all right, Nishi. What just What just happened? Uh。Alright, Asahi. Who's gonna get to 21st? Oh, they're out of timeouts. For a minute there, I thought we were gonna put Yamaguchi in. <laughs> they are putting him in. <laughs> ah, this could go very well or extremely bad. I saw him looking up at his his old teammate that was training Yamaguchi. I'm like, I, 
That's risky. He hasn't been practicing it for that long, though. Do your best, Yamaguchi. It's a lot of pressure. This could just backfire and, and give the other team the momentum that they that they need. Uh, I don't know about this, guys. <laughs> this first match and it had to be in this in, in, in the semifinals. It? <laughs> okay, I don't know if that will help, but okay. And if he loses this, they'll go to 20 and this will just have the opposite effect. This is risky. Oh dear god. Uh. Alright. On well, yesterday is not hit the net. Don't hit the net, don't hit the net, don't hit the net. Don't hit the net. I mean, that, there was always a possibility that it would happen. They knew that putting him in, so... It was a gamble. It was a gamble that the coach knew. Just do better next time. Alright. <laughs> yeah, cuz I mean after Yamaguchi's mess up, there's no way that anything else the rest of you do could possibly be worse than that. <laughs> so in a way it, it, it accomplishes this, the, the desired effect. You know? Give them a bit more confidence in, in their plays so far. And it helps Yamaguchi as well, you know. Daichi telling him next time means, you know, that doesn't mean that it ends here. <sighs> Out. Only two, they haven't made it to 20. I'm torn. I mean, I don't know who I want to win more. Uh, they're all tired. <laughs> it's just perseverance at this point. Their accuracy is falling. They're... One more point. Got it. <laughs> They're not giving up either. Match point. <sighs> it's all or nothing, guys. Come on. <laughs> Alright, alright. It's back on their side. <laughs> Give me it back to him. Oh, 
right, episode 23 of High Q, and we're all tied up now. I think that that last point should have made it 24 24. So, one more point to go, guys. One more point to go. Um, a, a fantastic match, and I can say I, 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 I'm torn as to who I want to win more. I I love our team, I love Karasuno, but at the same time, I, I, I love. Sejo and the more I learn about Sejo, the more I, I like them as as we as the episodes progress. Um and we got a bit of backstory on Okawa as well in the last episode, which you know I already liked him, but it kind of painted him in a different light than what how we how we previously saw him as just this guy that's always um always taunting and, and throwing criticism at others, you know. He he worked for it, he had to work for it because he's not naturally gifted, you know. Um, so I'm talking about who I want to win the most. Uh, but, uh, you know, outside of that, I I said it at the start of this match with Sejo that I think it's too soon for Karasuno. If if they win, then I'm, I'm, I'm all for it. But um, I think this team that Karasuno has put together um, is too new. Um, they have not practiced a whole lot together. I, I They've not had a lot of matches together. I think it's too soon for them to get to sejo's level who, who we've been told sejo who we've been told is one of the top i think top three or top five schools um i think it's too soon for that so i i i i'm still anticipating that they it will be a close match it is a close match um that karasuna will likely lose but they will take away a lot of lessons from this match if they win um, i'm i'm good with that as well but i i, I think it's it's too soon for our team um, especially, I mean, as Hinata is still pulling off, you know, the, the broad attacks and his his quick, but he's doing all of that with his eyes closed, and and I, I think he, I think for the the story to progress in an organic way, he needs to get over that reliance, you know, the, on Kageyama because he's not battling on his own right now. So for him to come in and and beat the top school already without having the tools to even play volleyball on his own um that would be a bit that would be a step back for the for the for the story for me personally so um i think it's too soon for them to win here um if they do then that's great so um I'm, i mean we'll see um yamaguchi got his moment to shine and 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 that's that that's something else that also adds merit to it because i mean their team is still pretty fragmented and they're still learning um they have a lot of um freshmen a lot of new years on their um new um, new members on their their team, so you know those persons need to become a bit more seasoned for me to be convinced that okay they can take the, they can win against a top five school, you know. Um, but I'm I'm glad for Yamaguchi got his moment. It, it back it you know I, I guess in a way it had an opposite effect because it emboldened Seijo you know and got them to the twenty point mark, but it also gave the team themselves you know Karasuno a bit bit of encouragement because you know the fact that he messed up at that point meant that you know they don't have to worry about messing up themselves because nothing that they could do could be worse than that so you know it, it, it in a way it kind of had the desired effect um and at the same time it was good on daichi to say to him you know make the next one count because that tells him that you know this this isn't where it ends for you and we're confident that you can do this so continue practicing and then the next time you make it count so um i can't wait to see um yamaguchi of the future and and you know and when he's a bit more skilled than what he can actually do um and and i don't know at the, we're coming close to the end of the new season so i'm curious to know what um you know what season two will look like if we'll still have our third years or if it's going to be a brand new team um with the freshmen becoming a bit more seasoned and and, and leading the team or whether you know our third years will actually stay on so um we're drawing close to the end and i can't look uh, i can't wait so be sure to post down below let me know what your thoughts are on this episode uh hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys for the next one